Good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's race in the Link to the Pet Long Community, the Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer ra Tournament, and we are in bracket flags. This is round two, Mitch Flower Power versus Pro A 007. Blink not, because you have seen this match before, but this is not a rerun. This is a rematch from last year, this time in a best of three format. I'm Leslie Pro 4. I'm joined by Sharky2107. And we are just about to get underway. As ladies and gentlemen, it's just about go time. Yep. How are you doing tonight, Sharky? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Ready for a good race. And let's see. Can we get World 7 to start with? We shall this see about that. Because with bracket flags... You have no end cards, and hammers do not break locks. Otherwise, we've got literally the same thing as basically your group stage two flags. Yep, hammers are, well, only used for breaking the rocks this time. That's in worlds two, three, four, and six, and we start with three, eight on world five, and it looks like the tower is not required. That's always a good sign. Yep. You just got a small cheap cheap just swimming around. And Mitch Flower Power already off to the races, but Pro is not too far behind. Yep. Just the first level, we got eight worlds. World eight being Great Equalizer. And we get 6F2 as well as a... Oh man, Proe does not need that. He just got an awful, truly dreadful Hammer Bro RNG pattern. If they don't separate, they're just going to keep going, and that RNG can eat up some time right there. Yep. I've had it where Hammer Bros are playing around for like 30 seconds, like, come on, let's go. We don't got all day. But they I go on different things. Coming pace. up on Boom Boom, I think the longest I ever had is it kept going and going and going once when I was a kid, so I just reset the console. I think it took like about a minute. I was like, okay, enough of this. Of course, that fort breaks brings out the bridge. The only difference in the forts here, the blue one, the blue fort, as you see, wow. Well, it's going to break that lock, which, well, we don't care about, because we're not even going there. Now, here's an interesting thing. Proa did not get a hammer, bro, to beat. Mitch did, and it was a hammer. That could come into play later on. Yep. Only a couple spots usefulness for it. Not many. And Mitch quickly making up ground, even getting a mini H jump in. Just gotta watch out for that blooper. Regardless, I expect this to be close all the way, and we get ourselves... Uh-oh, a 3-7 and a boss bass ambush that gets pro up. Well, the boss bass got his food. But he's probably oh. also got indigestion. Up oh, and Mitch fell for the same exact ambush. When you're used to speedrunning this game, as Mitch is, and I guess some of us have picked up those habits, you're probably not ready for a boss bass ambush. And it'll get you, well, more often than not, I dare say. Nope, boss bass is hungry tonight. I already got two. Yep. Feedings. And it's a frog suit. Mitch was going to do the same thing, but because his screen hadn't scrolled up, the block wasn't generating, or maybe he wasn't hitting it. Either way, Mitch moves on, and he missed out on only a frog suit. Because our yeah. first time ship is World 4. Frog suits. They're good to use, you know, if you find a water stage. 
Like, I think I once used one heading into 6-6, six, six, and I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna go, and I decided to just go with it, because why not? And we got a quake! And we got an earthquake. Two, two HP. <laughs> and it didn't even quake on Mitch's side. Pro is going to have a very slight lead coming out of this first world, but I but it's really early, and Mitch does have the advantage of a hammer, and that could change things in worlds 2, 4, or 6 very quick. In world 3, you really need 2. But in this scenario, you're probably... It doesn't really matter too much. And we got 1-2 with a, well, a familiar lock placement, we shall say. Yeah, we got a lot of Koopas here. And Para does make it through with ease. So does Mitch, a few seconds behind. And we get 7-6. How's our clip looking today? Let's see who's first. Mitch with a small disadvantage with the tail, but still doable. Yeah, and also it's doable with the frog suit. I've seen it done, so yeah. Don't think it's impossible. Oh, Mitch find a way to get the peace feed as Broy gets the clip, and Mitch is up and over. Wow! Sink coming out of Sink. the level using two different techniques. My oh my, this is gonna be a barn burner tonight. And Mitch just got, decides to go to the fort. Okay, so Mitch goes to the fort so you can break that lock and don't have to do this 8-2, so interesting there. Yeah, can't blame him for playing the fort, although the stage might be better say you ran into Piranha Fort. Yeah, with the audio coming from Mitch, as you can tell, he, we have randomized music. Players, you know, decide on their own if they want the music to be randomized or not. Also, here's a gift for you guys in chat as Proe avoids the 5-up. Not a bad idea, because you're going to be seeing that from both Proe and Mitch. They're not wanting 5-up right now. Nope, and we got a P wing. That was too good to not clip, as Mitch is already at the Koopaling, and we got both Earthquakers out the way back to back. Yes. That's good to have, so now we know both Quakers and are... And we got, as somebody would say, we got five Baconators. Bro, is not too far behind, and if he gets the fire kill, he probably will get some time back. Because that was a very thick Koopaling. 
not even going for it. He's just going into a stun lock type pattern, which is fairly easy to do with the Koopalings, but you got to be careful. You're on the ground when they hit, you're the one getting stunned. And this is where Mitch could really pull ahead, because remember, he's got the hammer, pro he doesn't. Yep, and World 3 is one of those areas you can use a hammer to pick up a little t time. <laughs> I like the king. Oh, it's terrible. I'm transformed to a human. Wow, that movement to get that cycle by Mitch. Very well done. Indeed. And a very optimized fire kill to boot. Proe taking a different approach here, taking a damage boost to get through. That's a bit of a time loss compared to Mi what Mitch did, but keep in mind, Mitch is one of the absolute best runners of this game, period. Currently holds every major world record. Yep, and in the last tournament, I believe he finished second in a tournament. So he wants to try to win this tournament. Yeah, he was the runner-up in the previous tournament to Duckfist, who is not able to join this tournament due to having other commitments. And just like that, Mitch is through another fort. I believe in a group stage, I believe Pura went 8 and 0 and Mitch went 7 and 1. Sounds about right, yeah. As Mitch is going through 6F3 carpet 4. I don't think Proe was looking for a 1 up mushroom there, and he gets right out of the way of the cheap cheap willing to ambush. I don't think Mitch has taken that gamble, or if he is, he's going to do it right after clearing this fort. But seeing where the pipes are with a hammer, that just speeds things up so tremendously, I'd use it for sure. That's eh, just me. Yeah, because with limited use of hammer, if you get a hammer, might as well use it where you think it's going to be best. Gives that first hammer, bro. Because of this screen moving. He gets a cloud out of the second one. At this point, I'm not totally sure that using the hammer would work. I think that ship has sailed on Mitch. Yeah, because you don't want to use it there because you got a pipe. But let's see where this pipe leads. Actually, that would have... Well, or you okay. just do that. That works. Yep, right to the airship. Pro A opts not to match the cloud usage, holding onto it for now, and is playing 5-5. Five five. The high, Well, I like to call it it's the Highway of Donuts. Mm, stay, stay at one. Donuts. <laughs> Stand one a little too long. Well, in the bottom of the pit, you go. Yep, that's the stage where you can honestly say no loitering. And pro A going to fly over the top of the section you have to go down and around. That actually saves time, especially coming in with a tail. Yep, this Koopa here. Weak, but when he goes to the left, he's just like floating. Uh -oh. We got 7F2. 
But with Mitch, this is going to be a stage that's really no problem whatsoever. Up oh, trade hits. That's not a problem. I think Mitch was trying to not damage boost there, but that's how it worked out. Oh, he gets a star this well really nicely. Yep. Get the second half done. Or the later half of that level done. This this flame does whatever it wants to. Gets you in your way, doesn't care. It just stops there, right there. When you need it. Oh god, this is obnoxious! Like, that just did not care about the time of day or the situation. He's just like, I'm gonna do whatever I want, and you're not going anywhere or else you're gonna die. And the other one was coming up to him as well, so... <laughs> that timing. And, well, Pearl didn't have much issues with the walking sticks. And that's an excellent item call by Mitch as he uses a Tanuki suit heading into Fort Knox, a fort where you gotta fly. Yep, and you get a Tanuki suit in there anyway. Usually. So item usage paying off in Mitch's favor as pro -A is going to have to get the Tanuki suit in order to fly. And we got an angry son in this level. At least it ain't a boss bass. Yeah, Mitch, I can't, I'm going to fly over to this. I don't think I can blame him, to be honest. I'm just glad we don't got boss basses with boom booms. That would be rude. Very rude. That's some crowd control stuff there. And what else would have been rude? Entering this particular hammer stage small because <laughs> Mario would have to swim to move around in that situation. Yep, yeah, that's happened to me countless of times. Pro A not able to fly here. The poor is about a level and a half behind. Still has that cloud, I believe, so that will help him out. Oh my Fred, I think you might want to have a look at that. Because that angry sun despawned the platform! Oof. And I don't blame Pro for trying to fly this level over after that happened. I don't blame him either, but he could have possibly potentially gotten past that, but he had to be a more bit more to the right. Get a high jump and Koopa. Oh, Mitch. Koopa Lings. Definitely something you hate to see. But either way, Mitch is out of giant land. Okay, that's an interesting pickup. Because the anchor can literally be any item in the game. They'll mm -hmm. outside of a warp whistle. And that's what makes the anchor 
a bit of a wild card, if you will, because we're not going to know what it does until we actually time to use it. Yep. If you try to use it, it doesn't work. Well, you could limit your options on what it could be. Pretty much a hammer at that point. And probably working through the World 1 airship as much flower power enters 1-5. There's a really cool tunnel strat that Mitch does in his speed runs of this game. It saves three frames, but he goes for it every time. Is he going to go for it here? I would hope so. Nah, he doesn't even need to do the usual tunnel strat because it's not spitting fire. I like that emote, though. Yep, Magic is enjoy a nice swim. Hi, Big Bertha, how you doing? Yep, Mama Bass and Baby Bass. So, well, just getting in the way at this point. At least it's not Boss Bass. I just, I, I just like to see a Boss Bass in a water level. That's all I care to see. Just not in Atlantis, please. Oh God, no. And Mitch just used his hammer there. And an excellent place to use it, too, I might add. You skip all that nonsense, including a non-required fort, and you're almost at the end of the world. Yep, skip a few levels, at least. So that helps. Nicely done dodging that hammer bro. Or fire bro in this case. They're just lining up for Mitch to take them all on here. We call that the game knows. Use a star, get a star. Yep, good payout. You don't lose any items. Well, you don't gain anything, sadly. <laughs> and we got more ten. Like well, the airships jump. may be randomized, the Koopalings are tied to their world. <sighs> world 1 Ford, if this turns out to be a hammer, well, it, well, let's just say it might be a bit late. But there is an item that Proy can fly up and get, and he is not going for it. Ooh, and that's an interesting call, too. It's a little bit faster to go up there to get the item. And we got a beta level on Mitch's side. The hardest one in the game, too. Oh, the single wide waterfalls are easily the most annoying thing about it. But that's just me. Used to be able to soft lock in that level, but that got fixed thing. No, we haven't. It's World 7 after 3, so any hammers after this point are pretty much going to be useless. Oh boy, and we got a stage that. Has to be an auto scroller or else it does not function. Five nine. 
Yep, one of two honor scholars that we could possibly get oh is Proa. Very that bad. was close, Proa. You just about caused a heart attack for everybody watching. Definitely us, definitely us commentators. Yeah, I've been on both sides of that coin, but we'll leave it at that for now. I wonder if Mitch does have a cloud or not. I'm not sure, because if he held a cloud and Pro uses it there, Pro is right back in there. And we got 8 1. And people wonder why I don't roll seeds very often. I think the last seed I rolled. It was a lot of lot of boss passes. Kind of makes sense for my the name I have. So, that jumping just gave me some movement ideas. You know what I'm Now, the real question is, where's the pipe go? To another pipe. To another pipe, a stage, and you're near both forts. I'd call that a pretty good pipe. And, then, and the Sky Speedway. A beta level in World 5, where all you gotta do is run. And hope not to get it. Guessing Pro A doesn't have a cloud either, so he's gonna have to climb five nine as well. Cause I know Pro used to cloud. Oh, let's go find a fort. <laughs> We're what in the this? navy this time. Shoutouts to Wolfman. Ooh, Mitch with a bit of a misstep there. Got hit by that big cannonball, which, if I were to be honest, I don't think we've seen that thing in any other Mario game. I think it's only in this one. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Mitch is going back to kill this fire, bro. He gets another star out of it after he's in the star. Again. I think somebody could record Wolfman singing that, unless he doesn't want to, at which point we just respect his wishes. Nice call by pro -A to go for the pipe. Pretty neat little shortcut. Mitch is just going to sweep out both forts, and now is in 5-1 ground fort. And just look at the P-speed that he puts. I mean, he literally takes his fort and stomps a mud hole in it. Yes, he does. And, of course, this is a fort that you need to beat just to get to the end. Well, to the castle, to the airship. If Pro picks his fort next, which he does, he's gonna find out. Oh, that's the right fort, so he'll gain quite a bit of time. And we've got the World Three airship at the end of the water level. Chat, that's your cue. And we're going to have Wendy O. Koopa. Do not blame Mitch for opting to go the fire kill strat because Wendy is not a fun fight at all. Yeah. 
And the king must be playing checkers because he's just said, King me. Yep. A good old pastime. Ooh. That's oh, a wrinkle oh, oh, oh. you don't typically see in your World 7 a lot right away. I so have never seen that yet. Out. And, yeah, that's the first time for me, too. So we're forced to play the hand stage. The item will be the same at the end of it. So finding these stages, pretty good, because they're also short. And it's oh, a hammer! God, what good's that gonna do, game? Okay, at this point, game is just trolling and probably actually getting time back on Mitch off the Koopaling because Wendy was just a one-hit quitter. The question is this, is a fort that's ahead going to break that lock? And it's Wendy skipped breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Actually, that lock might not be necessary because there are two pipes on this island, but it is 4F2. Okay, that is a very dirty place to put a hot foot because you actually have to get it to move because you need momentum to make that jump. Ugh, I hate that when it happens. Get in your way, like, come on, let's move. Interesting pipe, because it's one, le one level to two more pipes at least. Actually, no, excuse me, that's three levels. And apparently, I can't math right now. Yep, the part of plant levels, one of four levels that's not randomized. Mitch has found the route. Wait. Yeah, so he does this level. So, that lock, whatever it broke, who knows? <laughs> yep, because it was completely unnecessary. And Mitch just could have gone around, but he decided, you know what, let's do this level. Now, Proy did take out the fort, which wasn't necessary, but not a bad play for peace of mind. Yeah, the 5-1 item is far enough out of the way where, generally, it would not be worth it. And we got 5-3. Now, this is a level where you definitely want to take out any Paragoombas you come across, because they will phase right through the floor, and that can and will cause problems. Mitch did get one of them, and we got a boss pass! Bye-bye! I have to say, a star man there is quite generous. And we get a P-Wing into the World 6 airship. Good call, because you have to save time that way. And Mitch got hit, so he's not going to be able to go up for the, uh, wand skip. I think that's the name of it anyway. Oh, no, but he was going to try it with a wall jump, but missed it. Yeah, you don't see people try to go for a wall jump to get a clip. Yeah, the only person who really goes for that is Mitch. 
maybe Poe, but emphasis on maybe on that one. Yeah, I've seen Mitch grab the wand upside down with a star before. <laughs> and that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I saw Proton John do that one night, and then I did the same thing myself. Anyway, our World 8 map is two pipes to start with two hand stages. Here you want to ascertain two things. Where are the locks? Where are the forts? Because you gotta beat at least one. Usually. And the hand bridge is pipe bridge. Well, Might be a good idea to play the Navy stage, even though we know it's not the Navy. It's the Air Force. Yep, you get to fly up in the air. Normally fast auto scroller, but nope, take your time. It's still gonna be quick. Oh, of course, missed, missed it. it. Just by that much. Yep, that, that broke something somewhere, but we don't know where quite yet. Yep. So, and Mitch gets grabbed by the hand stage. It's 7-1, does he? Well, I was about to say, did he mac and cheese it? No, nope, not quite. Let's see. I believe you save time if you get in within, what, 22, 23 attempts? Yeah, basically... a. About where it says 2.50 on the timer, but Mitch got it in plenty of time. Yep. Not a problem for Mitch. Let's see what this pipe will lead. Yeah, then we got, well, we got everything here in front of us, so we might as well clean house. It's 5F2 and... Mitch went for a clip, and that is a gutsy call, because if you miss that, you're taking a lava bath. Yes, you are. I think I did it one time, and, well, never again. It failed. Yeah, 5F2, going through the sky for you. You can just keep moving when you're on pattern. Anywho... The reason it's called Mac and Cheese is because a random runner just ye said an app and yell Mac and Cheese when he hit that clip the first time, and as well, it's stuck. Rest is history on that, and probably find some 1 5 data. You have no random enemies here, but you also have no random power ups. And Mitch is right behind, so if that was not the. Way for a bridge, or yeah, pretty much a bridge or a lock to Bowser's castle. Pro could take me taking the lead right now, but it's about that finding the forts. And this one is, and we are uh, in escalator. One, the escalator for. And Mitch gets a random one up. And loves to jump. <laughs> yeah, he's mashing very fast, by the way. His hand mashing speed is probably one of the fastest that I've seen out of anybody. There's no way in heck I'll about to smash that fast. Yep, like the game knows. Anyway, fort done, and that did clear a lock on this screen, but one that went right to my hand stage. Talk about bait. I mean, it's 7-7, seven, seven, so it's a both got level. grabbed. Well. We both got grabbed. Pro is take, get, just saying, get me out of this mess with a deck. Mitch is doing the same thing. I don't blame them both. What is the anchor though? I'm I'm just curious. What is the anchor tonight? And we've got ourselves 
super tank. No auto scroller. So you don't get to see the strat that has a very long name while Mitch is taking holding the Gamblematic 9000 on what that broke oh. the lock. Was that it? This could be the race right here, folks. It what? It was it, but in a different way. We got a race, folks. No, we don't. Mitch actually has to play out one more fourth. Oh, it broke the right. lead. Are you kidding me? And we got a boss pass. And the banker was a paywig. This is coming up, Pro A007. Unbelievable. Remember, Mitch was first to enter World 8. 8 is a great equalizer. You know why. Right and here. He just equalized on Mitch. It was the Air Force that he passed over, which was Super Tanks. That was the difference. This is why you gotta... If you gamble in World 8, you are playing with fire. And if you play with fire, sometimes you get burned. And both runners I feel like, okay, nobody's not done yet. Especially at the 40 minute mark, because you're thinking, with Mitch, you gotta be done around the high mid-high 30 mark, regardless of fly set. That's not the case this time. And, and right now, with Mitch in Bowser's Castle, it's still not a done deal. Because Mitch has the movement to be able to catch up. It all comes down to Bowser's Castle. Yep. Get the, yeah. don't We're fall literally at the point where if Pro A takes a death, Mitch has this. If Pro A stays alive, he has this. And here's a little note about Bowser. The hitbox is in his head. Exactly. <gasps> oh, Mitch! I most took a death. I don't think Mitch can make that jump, so he's going the lower route. Pro is down to the last hit on Bowser. And yeah, one more jump for Bowser. And Bowser is off to the chiropractor as Pro A has taken game one. Get your GGs in chat, folks, as that was a barn burner of a race. If you did not see the entire vibe of this race, afterwards go back and see it, because this was a close one start to finish. Yes, it was. Uh-oh, Mitch is out of position on a fire kill. XRL time, 41-44 for Pro A007. And tonight, Mitch dines on turtle soup. Yeah, but at least for game one, so we got game two coming up here in a few. That was one heck of a race, and don't let the timer fool you on Mitch's side because he started it a bit late. It is official time across the finish line to wrap up game one, 42-29. Get your GGs in chat for both runners, folks. Yep, they both raised a heck of a race. A pretty good comeback by Pura, though. But yep. overall, he was only but what max what three levels behind. Yeah, Pura level? did exactly what he had to do, in my opinion. He kept it close. And, he, and at the end of the day, it came down to the World A Gamble, where Pro A gambled on the fort not being required. Mitch gambled on the Air Force not being required. And at the end, it rolled Pro A. That might have been a stupid finish had Mitch played that out and just won through the Air Force.
but people that had a bracket, you know, done brackets of this, it's going to be interesting what's going to turn out after game two and three, if we get to game three. Yeah, I think everybody wants to see another seed like that. So we already got it rolled up. Yep, we're just waiting. <sighs> for them to change over. Get themselves a water if needed. And get ready for more. So, good time, you know. If you haven't, give these both of these runners a follow. Because they definitely deserve it after the first race of best of three. So... And we are, yep, with this being a best of three, it could go to three. We did have Raikou Rider versus Fonzoid go the full three earlier today. So it's happened only once so far, and it could happen again. 